Yeah. Look at all these people, buddy. They're all they're, they're all here to talk to you. Yeah. Look at that. Are you proud of your dad? He got a big win tonight. Proud of dad? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is pretty crazy, huh? <laughs> Can we get a let's go penguins? <laughs> All right, big one for you tonight, Rusty. Obviously, I know you did, guys didn't want to give up that two-goal lead, but what can you say about just the way this team is finding ways to win right now? Um, it's it's exactly that, finding ways to win. Um, sometimes it's hasn't been the way we wanted to and give up some leads here, but I think uh, at the end of the day, finding a way to get those wins, I think is big, especially uh, kind of in the situation that we're in. Brian, when you were in college, you were in Washington City, you proud of you from afar. I told you you were the guy that set him up for his 1,000 point. You said then, and what do you say now? Um, I would not have believed you. Um, I don't even think I would have probably thought I'd be on the team, first of all. But um, <laughs> things have changed a little bit, <laughs> um, and it's cool. Um, it's been it's been a heck of a ride playing with him for for as long as I have. Um, he's he's a special player, but even even a more special person. Um, he's awesome. He's leading this team right now. Uh, I think we're all just kind of getting in line behind him and trying to do everything we can. What did you see on the pass from him? I just kind of had some space there when I got in the zone and saw him go as hard as he could, kind of the back side of there, and I tried to light in there and put it right on his tape. Rusty, the uh, wrestling match that he got in, in the corner, what, does that tell you anything you guys didn't already know, or just what's it like on the bench there? Um, he's fired up to lead this team. Um, you can see he's very emotionally invested. Um, he's in there playing his heart out. And uh, I think everybody in here is, has taken notice of that. And I think we're all just trying to, I guess, do the same. Brian, how do you think things went uh, once Smith jumped up and joined the first line? I believe it was uh, like midway through the second period. Um, we were able to get a couple more goals, which was nice. Uh, but I think um, we just found some space offensively. I created a little bit, and uh, I think um, I don't know what what exactly the reason was for that, but it uh, worked out well. Brian Eric comes with, through with the game-winning goal. Um, what's been his evolution this season in terms of getting acclimated to the team? He's obviously a very accomplished, talented player, but just what's been him from game one to game eighty or wherever this um, is. He's uh, been awesome. He's been uh, he's obviously a guy who's got an unbelievable skill set, and uh, when you have that much skill and you have that much instinct, I think it takes a little bit of time to get acclimated. Um, but he's done phenomenally, and um, you can see why he is who he is and why he's got the got all the accolades that he does. Overtime's been a problem for you guys this year, but um, you're able to cash it in this time. What did you think going into that session because it's been such a problem for you? What, what did you guys do better in overtime as well? Um, we got control of the puck, and we didn't give it his way as, as much as we usually do. Uh, I think um, we took our opportunity when it was there to score. Um, Got to give those guys a lot of credit. They made a really nice play out there. Eric had a great shot. Um, but I think uh, just trying to be patient.